Hello friends, now we see the topic number two, that derivative of power function. So in this topic, we start with fx is equal to x raise n. Therefore, the next step is f of x plus h is equal to x plus h whole bracket raise n by first principle of derivative f dash x is equal to limit h tends to 0 f of x plus h minus fx whole thing divided by h so that equal to limit h tends to 0 for f of x plus h we substitute x plus h whole bracket raise n minus for fx we substitute x raise n upon h so that equal to limit h tends to 0 now x plus h bracket raise n this bracket we can open yeah simplify by using binomial theorem so that gives us nc0 x raise n plus nc1 x rays n minus 1 h rays 1 plus nc2 x rays n minus 2 h rays 2 plus going on and then the last term is plus ncn x rays 0 h rays n minus x rays n and the whole thing divided by h that equal to limit h tends to 0 now nc 0 we get 1 into x rays n plus nc1 gives n into x rays n minus 1 into h plus nc2 that gives n into n minus 1 upon 2 factorial x rays n minus 2 into x square in this way plus plus finally ncn gives 1 x raise 0 also gives 1 h raise n then minus x raise n and then the whole term divided by h so that equal to limit h tends to 0 now here we cancel plus x raise n and minus x raise n in the numerator and from the remaining term we take h common so we have h in bracket n into x rays n minus 1 plus n into n minus 1 upon 2 factorial x rays n minus 2 into h and plus plus and the last term is h rays n minus 1 and then the totally divided by h so that equal to limit h tends to 0 now here we cancel h from numerator and denominator and left with n into x rays n minus 1 plus n into n minus 1 upon 2 factorial 
x raised n minus 2 into h plus going on and finally plus h raised n minus 1. Stating the reason that since h tends to 0 and therefore h not equal to 0, it means we cancel h from numerator and denominator. So the next step will be is equal to limit h tends to 0 n into x raise n minus 1 plus n into n minus 1 upon 2 factorial x raise n minus 2 h and plus h raise n minus 1. Now whenever h we have to substitute limit as tends to 0 so the next step will be n x n minus 1 plus n into n minus 1 upon 2 factorial x raise n minus 2 into 0 and plus 0 raise n minus 1 and that is equal to n x n minus 1 plus we get remaining term as a 0. So in this way we get f dash x is equal to n into x raise n minus 1. So this is all about the derivative of power function. Thank you.